Okay, so imagine you're driving in a car, say to your cousin's house. It's a beautiful, sunny, windless day, and you decide to look outside and notice that you're being chased by zombies. No, no, no! You just notice that the trees move faster than the buildings behind them. Wait, yeah, why is that? Well, Smidgen, that's because of motion parallax, and that's what we're going to discuss today. Motion parallax basically means that objects moving at the same speed will appear to move faster if they're closer to an observer than they would if they were at a greater distance. So, if they're actually moving at the same speed, why do we perceive them to not? Let's find out. In this example, imagine that the blue girl is S away from the eye. The pink girl is S minus Y from the eye. When both of the objects move, you notice that the blue person moved by an angle of alpha, and the pink person moved by an angle of alpha plus theta. That means that the pink person moved at a greater angle than the blue person. Okay, back to the eye. Imagine scissors. When you open and close the scissors, the action is reflected on the other side of the scissors. Same thing in the eye. When the picture of the two objects moving comes to the eye, it sees it as not focused data. But when the data goes to the back of the eye, it gets focused and shows a mirrored image of what is shown in real life. Therefore, d alpha and d theta are just alpha and theta in the eye. So when alpha and theta change, d alpha and d theta change too. You might be wondering, why have a d then? Well, d means differential, and differential just means that something changes as a function of time. Therefore, the greater theta, and so d theta, the greater the change in perceived speed between the two objects. Ah, uh, the wonderful smell of an animal habitat. Smells like animal waste to me. <laughs> Not on camera, Smidgen. So if animal and human eyes are different, does that mean that animals perceive motion parallax differently? Oh, oh, I know. The location of the eyes on animals can be either on the front or the side of their head. Motion paths can still cure a blue for one eye, so they see it too. As far as scientists know, so far, pigeons and knees have a sense of motion parallax. They actually use it to detect distance to a target. What is for sure is that every animal sees the world a little bit differently. Most likely you've seen motion parallax in movies. But what's even cooler, recently, scientists are starting to improve their technology using motion parallax in VR and simulations. That's not all. In the future, scientists could use this phenomenon to make robots more intelligent. Not too intelligent. I really don't want to be attacked by a robot. <laughs> a very funny smidgen. Did you know that there are different types of parallax out there? Like diurnal parallax, stellar parallax, and of course, motion parallax. Wow, that proves that we cannot simply rely on our senses. Science talks. Exactly. Now just remember motion parallax next time your sibling decides to fight with you about which objects outside the car are moving faster. Oh, and never stop being curious.